Hello, ladies. Back where we left off at, I was talking about Chinalink.com, the company that uh, they offer these full lace wigs. And they offer you these full lace wigs for, I think it's around, um, I think the, the cost be like $45. But when you get done with shipping the EMS mail service, express mail service, it comes to like maybe $129. I ordered one from them and I did, uh, I'm, I'm glad I used my uh, debit card. So I did a dispute from my bank and my bank reimbursed me the money, but this is what they sent me. They sent me a picture of a full, you know, they had a full lace wig on their site and saying it's a full lace wig, freestyle part, 100% human hair. This is the wig that they sent me. This is a synthetic wig and it's an actual wig, wig. So there is a lot of people that's out scamming and, you know, getting people's money. So, yeah, the uh, Chinalink.com do not buy uh, wigs from them because they are running scams on people. It is not uh, a legit source to get a full lace wig. And then their dispute is, oh, when we say full lace, we're meaning a full lace standard older wig. So don't uh please don't uh go to chinalink.com and yes they do have pictures of real wigs and they probably didn't stole them and downloaded them from somebody else's page so ladies do not get that it, it's not going to work out you're going to be very very unhappy uh with that so another thing i wanted to share with you guys that is real useful i made this wig for myself this wig is about 22 inches this is a jet black and a number to mix and the problem that i was having with this particular wig ladies when wigs are so long i don't know if you guys notice the static and they tangle and tangle and tangle and tangle and tangle where by the end of the day your hair is a matted mask where, where it looks fake and i kind of hate that thing too so my sister levon was telling me my cousin chevelle has naturally long hair and she was over and she was like, and, you know, I was telling her that I really didn't like wearing this one as much because by being so long, the static and it, you know, it, it, it kind of stands up off the back of my neck. And she said, and my cousin Chevelle has very long hair. She told me she flat ironed Chevelle's hair. And when she's done flat ironing Chevelle hair, she told me to use, believe it or not, lady, and it works. And Chevelle has real hair, not, you know, any, you know, wig or anything. A bounty sheet get a bounty sheet four of them and take it and rub it through the hair ladies take it and rub it through your hair rub it through rub it through and what that's gonna do that's gonna eliminate the static and all the lifting in the back of your wig from your wig actually you know um lifting up in the back rub that bounty sheet you know, you can do it on your head, too. But, ladies, rub that bounty sheet all over your wig. You know, take four of them and especially specialize on the back part because what that's going to do is going to get all that static out of your wig and you're going to have a better experience with it where you're not going to have all of that static in your wig looking like an obvious weave. Keep a bounty sheet in your purse, ladies, especially when you're wearing, you know, rocking your longer wigs. And I didn't put the bounty sheet on there, right? And I'm going to uh, rub it across the bed, just kind of show y'all, because it's, you know, the static. And I didn't rub the bounty sheet, and look, I'm rubbing it across the actual bed to kind of give you guys, you know, in the static from my clothes and stuff. I'm rubbing it across the bed. Look at that, ladies. Do you see? Do you see that that hair did not stand up and bush up or do any of that from using that bounty sheet? You see the hair is still actually in place and i rubbed it across the bed and you know all the static from my from the comforter would have just lifted right up so when you rocking your longer hair it always seemed the back of your weaves always seemed to 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 raise up ladies use those bounty sheets thanks levon love that idea now i can rock my 22 inches and at the end of the day i'm not like i gotta get out of this wig and keep tangling and keep matting the bounty sheets lady four bounty sheets and rub it through your weave, through your full lace wigs. And it will eliminate the static from your clothes, from your shirt, from your leather jackets, 
you know, from you in the mall, the carpets in the mall, it will definitely eliminate all that static. And look at that. And like I say, you, you know, test it out and rub it across, rub it across the bed or something. Look at that. Not out of place. Not out of place. I'm loving that lady. That was a very good, helpful tip. And even if you don't have like the, any bounty sheets, you can use the cheaper version, any bounty sheets, take four of them and rub it through there. That would be perfect ladies for you guys. Um, Hope these tips is working for you um, really well. So the bounty sheets, um, another another one. Um, this one is uh, pretty old. This wig is pretty old. And I don't know, I heard a lady say that after six months, she take up lace wigs and she throw them away. I kind of cheat. Even though I make wigs, I still am, am not going to take a wig and throw it away. I'll be jimmy rigging this wig together. I'm going to turn it around and kind of show you. It's kind of nasty. Kind of remind me of period panties. Ladies, we know we our period panties be clean, but we don't throw them away. This little, this wig is over a year, a year and some months old. And I didn't sew her back together, put her back together and everything. And when it's on my head, it works fine. So I don't know why. Maybe she got money like that, but she says she wear a 100% human hair full lace wig and she throw it away. She says, she said that she throw her wig away after six months. You don't have to throw these away. Ladies, if you take care of your wigs, your wig will take care of you. This is living proof. This wig is over a year and eight months old, and I'm still rocking it. And I'm going to show you guys this wig that I'm wearing on my head. This one is actually two years old, and I got a lot of repairs that I need to do to it. But I've been so busy working on my customers. My customers come first to... I didn't have time to kind of do mines, but I own so many, I can pretty much rotate them. This wig is two years old. Let me show you the damage that this one have taken, ladies. I have on an ace band under here, too, because like I said, I get my hair braided. And this wig has a lot of bald spots up but in this wig also, ladies. So I'm going to comb it and see. And I put an ace band on it because I wanted you guys to see the big bald spots. Look at those bald spots. And when I get time, I will... I will go in here and do the uh, repairs. But what I do, ladies, I take the black hair beam and I'm going to start it right there because I don't want to spray the whole thing just in case if I go to part it. So I take my black hair beam and I want to spray my fingers, make sure I'm spraying it the right way. But so what I just did is eliminated that bald spot, ladies. I took the black hair beam. And sprayed it in there and you can't even tell that I just had a ball spot there just a while ago so there are so many different tricks that you can use ladies to you know get the best out of your full lace wig you know you paying two three hundred you know or whatever you know every price varies there are so many good tips on YouTube ladies if there's anything you guys want to know not just my channel Go to these different pages. There are so many women with so many helpful tips that will really actually help you get the best out of your full lace wig when you don't have to be taking them and throwing them in the garbage. As long as they're, you know, the, the, the human hair kind. I don't know much about the synthetic lace fronts, you know. The ones that I purchased for myself before I started making them was 100% human hair. So, um, yeah, ladies, I just took the hair beam and I sprayed it in a ball spot and that was a, a a huge ball spot and this wig is two years old this is my first wig that i actually purchased this is the first wig that i actually uh purchased before i got into you know learning how to make it that's this what inspired me to make them because after six months i had the shedding and i'm cheap i i, I don't i can't go run around and spend 250 300 every time so i you know i took the training the hair coach and got the training I needed. So thank you, ladies. I can't go over these 10 minutes. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. If you need any more information, just uh, send me an email. Uh, thanks for uh, rating my videos. Thanks for subscribing. And God bless. Thank you for watching A. Marie Full Lace Wigs. And I hope these tips was helpful for you. And re remember, ladies, be careful of who you're shopping from. Do not get ripped off. So thank you, ladies. God bless. Bye.